Okay, you're looking really stunning. Match that go down on that. Okay, okay, just one or two questions though. Okay, you've been in the entertainment industry for a very long period of time, and a lot of people are like, seriously, I won't be like Godono. I want to just get there. That place that it is, that's where I want to be. So, what is your advice for the Nigerian that is spread to be like you? Well, um, first of all, anything that must be enjoyed in this life needs to be built. If you build it, you discover that sometimes it's difficult for it to be taken away. So it is with marriages, with relationships, with business. The difference between the marriage that does not last and the one that lasts is the fact that one was built. You built time, you gave energy, spent, you built. For anyone that is a young person who probably admires me for what I do and for who I am, you must understand that we have come this far because we have been building it. This didn't come overnight. Started entertainment since 2002. And I'll be here doing it in the possible way that I know how to do. And amazingly, inside of me, I still feel very young. I, I, don't, I don't feel like I've, I'm done with uh, my comedy or anything that I do in life. I still feel very young. I'm just like that Caleb anointing that say, man, even though I'm 40, look, what I feel on the inside is about 10. So, that being said, if you want to be like me or you want, you aspire to be where I am today, two things I do. I don't play with my God and I don't play with my work because anything you give attention to we grow so i give attention to my work and i give attention to my god these two things god has used to sustain me to where i am today that's very beautiful okay so um what advice do you have for the nigerian youth for 2023 well uh, if we are like the sons of Issachar, we study the times and the season. Nothing just happened. If you, if you see a, a particular kind of thing happening, it's because another is set to happen. If you ask me, the time for the young people is now. How do I know? We've started to see young president young prime ministers all over the world. We have begun to see women taking over things. So, when you see this is happening physically, it's because spiritually we have stepped into that season. So, because a Macron who is just 41 could not have been a president of that nation or the other guy from Australia who is about 31, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, our governor is still very young. When you see these things happen, it's because time and season has proven over time that, look, certain things should be happening. In 2023, I'm not a prophet, but I, I foresee that young people, young, able, talented people, young people with the love of country in their heart, not the love of religion or the love of the family or the love of the pocket. Young people with the love of a country in their heart who will not sit down and watch this nation be damaged by any form of anything that is named either in heaven or on earth. Young people, vibrant people, mindful people, serious-minded youth. I see them strategically be positioned for the takeover of our, of our country. I don't know about you, but not every side of this country is going the way we want it to go. And I will not be among those who are specialists at complaining and not do nothing. Uh, 
as long as we still have breath in our lungs, I believe 2023 that God in his infinite mercy we give room to young people. Yes. Amen. Thank you.